Hey guys, this is Phil Carew from Comedy Cigars and Music. Today I am reviewing the American Viking Cigar Company's Box Pressed Rebellion. Or is it Rebellion? Foot and wrapper, I'm getting a little bit of cedar, some chocolate, some barnyard, and just a little bit of sweet tobacco. Well, cut this, light it, and start it up. Okay, so right off the bat, getting some chili pepper spice, some chocolate, and some earth. Earth on the finish. That chili pepper spice is right in the back of the throat, just on the back of the tongue there too. Retro hell, I'm getting some earth and chocolate. It's a really nice, pleasant chocolate. A little bit of charred meat in there, maybe. Yeah, just a little bit of charred meat. All right, starting off pretty good so far. Really nice chocolate in there. I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. So I'm smoking this down, might as well chat a little bit. This cigar has a Nicaraguan Habano Maduro wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and Nicaraguan filler. And it has been pretty dang good so far. So as you guys probably know, American Viking Cigar Company is a fairly new um, cigar company to the industry, but it's certainly not by anybody new into the business or the community. Tim Swanson and his uh, father-in-law, Jim Campbell, uh, started the company, which actually started Cigars Daily prior to this. Decided they wanted to start a cigar company, and they did it. And if you've seen any of Tim's videos, especially when he's talking about the American Viking Cigar Company, it's something he's really excited and passionate about. So it's pretty cool to be smoking one of the new cigars from him. I got this in a pre-order sampler pack from them um, that came with basically one cigar from their entire line. And I've got to say, so far the Box Press Rebellion is pretty good. It's pretty tasty. That chili pepper spice is just lingering. The chili pepper spice is just staying there. That chocolate's still really good and coming through. Still getting some earth. So speaking about cigars, I want to take just a moment to talk about politics a little bit. <laughs> yeah, right. And we're in a perfectly good time with a cigar. Pass on that. Okay, so wrapping up the first third here a little bit. I'm getting some chocolate. That chili pepper spice is dying down, but I'm just getting a hint of that. Some earth. The charred meat that I had at the beginning of the cigar is pretty much all gone. I'm getting just a little bit of leather. On the finish, I'm definitely getting some chocolate. A little bit of earth in there. Like I said, there's just a hint. Just a hint of that chili pepper spice. Retro hell, getting some earth and chocolate. There's a little bit of raisin in there. That's good. Yeah, this is a very good cigar. The burn on it has been pretty good. I haven't had any touch-ups, so the burn's been good. So far, I'm pretty impressed with what American Viking Cigar Company has to offer. All right, smoking it down a little bit more. Okay, dad joke for the day. Two guys walk into a bar. The third guy ducks. I'm better than that. You guys are better than that. Sorry. Okay, so we're into the second third here. You good. You guys hear that creaky board? I keep stepping on that. I'm trying to run a professional rig here. I need to talk to my producer. I don't have a producer, but have you ever noticed if you say, I got to talk to my producer, it makes it seem like you're kind of important. So I'm going to talk to my producer. Anyway, second third here. I'm getting some cedar, some chocolate still, getting some of that raisin. That's good. I'm getting some oakiness, some powerful oakiness. See, this is what happens when I'm left to my own devices with a camera and a cigar. Sorry. On the finish, there's a little bit of tobacco, some leather, a little bit of chocolate just right in the back. That chili pepper spice is kind of making a comeback, but it's it's kind of faded towards the background quite a bit there. Retro Hell getting some nice earth, a little bit of chocolate. There's a little floral note kind of shimmying its, shimmy its way in there. Shimmy. It's a funny word. But that's what it's doing. This is a good cigar. All right, I'm gonna smoke it down a little bit more here. Don't go anywhere in the next second in the wonderful world of editing. Along with that creaky board, there's some fudge brownie in the retro hail too. Forgot to mention that. Also just one minor burn touch up in the second third. Just one. I'm always fascinated by the people that run in broad daylight with that emergency yellow green clothing. If you don't see them, is it really their fault if they're not wearing that in broad daylight? I kind of feel like that's on you if you don't see them. Huh. So, while I'm smoking this down, I thought I'd just talk to you guys. For the people that used to watch Saturday Night Live a long time ago with the Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy, 
some reason the uh, deep thought with the, the the one I always liked the best was the uh, was it baby pumpkin. You guys ever see that one? You guys remember that one? Of course, I'm not going to be able to hear you guys' answers because this is recorded and you guys are watching it. But anyway, so the deep thoughts by Jack Handy, the baby pumpkin was, war is so crazy. Something like this. I'm not going to be able to do it verbatim. But war is so crazy that when you're in war, instead of throwing a grenade, you should throw a baby pumpkin. And then while everybody is standing around looking at the baby pumpkin, thinking about how crazy that is and how crazy war is, you can throw a real grenade. That one always just cracked me up. Man, some more of that raisin. That raisin's just kind of popping in and out. I like that. I don't know. The more I smoke this cigar, I think it's the Box Press Rebellion. I like that. Very sophisticated. Very sophisticated in the theater. You there, get me a box pressed rebellion. We have much celebrating to do. I'm gonna to talk to my producer, and if I ever write a play, I'm gonna have my characters smoke an American Viking Cigar Company box press rebellion. Ooh, you. Did you guys hear that creaking board? Maybe you guys aren't hearing it. This cigar's just fun to smoke. I like cigars like this. Oh, because. Because everybody's always saying how they like cigars that aren't fun to smoke. I'm a real revolutionary there, people. There's one thing that Phil Crute was known for. It was that he liked cigars that... See, that's just rude. I was right in the middle of a very, very witty line. I feel like when I'm doing cigar reviews, I need to be more sophisticated, like... like a, a big-time cigar aficionado. Well, this is quite a tasty cigar. There's something about it. I, I just can't. There's so many flavors whirling around. Uh, it's like every time I take a puff, there's some kind of magical essence to the cigar, which then puts magical essence into the um, atmosphere of this great planet, of the great universe. Like every time I take a puff, I, I draw it in, and then smoke goes out, and that goes into the ether. The ether that is us. As a people. Now the one thing I will not tolerate is a squeaky board. Where's the producer? I specifically said, I specifically said, no squeaky boards on the set. This will be the last time you guys see me behind camera. Where's my agent? Lingering around here somewhere. Probably... Walked off with my producer. Okay, so, final third. Lots of leather. Lots of leather in the final third. Also getting some chocolate and earth. Still every so often in the final third. That raisin is kind of coming, you know, just to say, hello, on the finish. I'm getting a little bit of chocolate. A little bit of leather, some fruitiness from time to time. A little bit of chocolate and leather on the retro hell there. I must say, this has been an enjoyable cigar. Got a little pretzel. Nice. The smoke time on this cigar is going to come out to about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. It has been an enjoyable cigar. Um, good job over at American Viking Cigar Company. Guys, thank you for joining me. If you guys enjoyed the review, please make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, be cool to each other, and I'll see you soon. This is quite a tasty cigar. You are needing to try it.